biological say treatment plant there are three major uh, chambers inside this plant aeration chamber clarification chamber and urination chamber normally uh, the rosage coming into this aeration chamber firstly this sewage mix with the water and uh, collect to this aeration chamber now we need to know there are major two uh, bacteria types inside this uh, sewage they are aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria normally aerobic bacteria need oxygen to survive and anaerobic bacteria no need oxygen to to live inside this chamber so we are going to uh, energize this aerobic bacteria so that is why we need to give oxygen supply to this aeration chamber so that is why we use this uh, air supply from this compressors and uh, give to uh, give to this aeration chamber through this air diffusers so now we give oxygen to this uh, aeration chamber and now energize this uh, aerobic bacteria so they will eat the sewage uh, and maybe 24 hours like this that time and they will divide divide this uh, sewage co2 and uh, organic waste yes. so as well as there are some limited amount of uh, anaerobic bacteria also they will produce methane hydrogen sulfide and ammonia like the toxic things so however after this uh, uh, this process this uh, liquid passes to this clarification chamber normally there is a biological filter and uh, passes through this biological filter to this uh, clarification chamber and uh, there is another problem coming after this uh, clarification chamber that is uh, some particles are coming to the top of this tank and uh, some particles are uh, some uh, some solid particles are collect to this bottom so we need to take out them so that is why we use this uh, airlines to these uh, these pipes this airlines act as uh, air lifter so then this solid particles passes to again aeration chamber and this is come also passes to this aeration chamber again uh, which is in this uh, surface is so that and that process we call air lifting process of this plant so now we know uh, now we have liquid inside this clarification chamber so we transfer that liquid to uh, chlorination chamber through this uh, chlorinator this chlorinator act as a uh, treatment plant because now we going to uh, now we going to discharge this liquid to the sea so we need to uh, deenergize this toxic things and bacteria because they will attack again attack they will attack to the marine life so we use this uh, chlorine uh, to as a treatment for this sewage liquid sewage so when uh, fill up this tank the high level will uh, high level alarm uh, will energize so then that signal passes to the discharge pump and uh, discharge this liquid to the sea under marpole marpole regulations so 
that is the process that is the process of this uh, uh, plant and if we need to pump out separately these tanks uh, within this aeration tank we need to take out so that time we use these valves and uh, hose connections so like this time we need to prime before prime this uh, discharge valve so that time we first close this all three valves and uh, open this valve and this valve we connect uh, water line to this hose and prime the pump and again close this valve open this valve and start pump and pump out this aeration chamber like that we can pump out chlorination uh, clarification chamber also so we use this uh, these valves uh, sometimes uh, if we clean this uh, plant we have to take out this uh, three chambers also so that is the basic uh, basic idea of this uh, biological treatment plant uh, okay thank you